Hello, Wisconsin. This is a great state. I am thrilled to be back. In a more subdued rally, President Trump spoke for more than an hour in Mosinee, joined on stage at times by Governor Scott Walker, his former opponent whom he attacked during the 2016 presidential campaign. He ran against me in the primary. He was tough. He could be nasty. Wow. But he was tough and he was smart. But I've gotten to know him well. And he did something that I didn't think would be happening in this country for a long time. I got him set up with an incredible company called Foxconn. The president opened his speech by addressing the suspicious packages sent to Hillary Clinton, former President Obama, and to CNN. The language of moral condemnation and destructive routine, these are arguments and disagreements that have to stop. No one should carelessly compare political opponents to historical villains. The president touted Wisconsin manufacturing, job growth, and education, crediting Governor Walker and Republican Senate candidate Leah Vukmir. If you're going to vote Democrat, don't bother. <laughs> but if you're going to vote Republican, I think we have a lot of Republicans here, don't we? <laughs> so between Scott and Leah, who's in favor of those two great people, yes? Yeah? President Trump won Wisconsin by less than one percentage point in 2016, but won the north central part of the state by double digits. Now, the governor's race is much closer than that. The latest Marquette Law School poll has Governor Walker and Democratic challenger Tony Evers in a dead heat. The numbers there are up on the screen, but Patrick, the tone tonight mm -hmm. of this rally was much different. There wasn't specific name calling and there weren't any attacks specifically on uh, the president.